Hey guys, I'm back for another short video. Finally got everything, I believe everything anyway. I know I've said that probably a couple times now. Off of the core support to where it's ready to come out. The core support bolts were actually pretty easy to get out. Like it really, really surprised me. Like here's one of them. I mean, that bolt don't look bad at all. I mean, you can start seeing where it's rusting out there at the bottom there. But this bolt, oh man, that one's bad. That one is really bad. So I need to get some new core support bolts because that thing is so thin. Like, I'm kind of surprised that they came out that easy. And yes, it was that was that muddy. Like this mud that's on this bolt is from that core support. So, core support should be ready to come out. I had to cut these three bolts here too. I had to cut those three bolts out too because they, the clips snapped on those too. So pretty much that's where I'm at right now. I need to get that, that fender well off. Uh, pretty much just unhook what wires and hoses that's on the, uh, on the back of the core support or on the back of the firewall that's connected to the engine and then I'm pretty much done for here or up front anyways then I gotta move underneath it and I'm hoping and praying the body bolts come out in one piece I'm uh, uh, if they don't come out in one piece, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. Because I really don't feel like having to tap a ball, uh, you know, tap and die the freaking uh, body bolts and all that crap. So I don't know yet what I'm going to do. Uh, I need to get the body bolts out, get all the wiring un unhooked and the gas tank unhooked and that should be about it for the body i mean i'm sure there's a couple more things but i can't really think of them so that's pretty much where i'm at right now and then just gotta wait for the new frame to get here but this is going to be the end of the videos for today um i'm tired it's cold and I want to start cleaning this stuff up. Uh, so I'm going to probably pick up some more or do some more tomorrow. So there should be more videos tomorrow, hopefully. If not, it'll be within the next few days at least. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. I wanted to add one more thing. Look at the antifreeze. This is the antifreeze that came out of this blazer. Like, it, it, it's, it has to be that freaking uh stop leak crap look at that that's just so gross i flushed this radiator probably three times now so uh if anybody's got any good ideas on how to get that stuff out of there other than jam a water hose in there and keep flushing it let me know uh, thanks for watching guys